All right, so let's go ahead and let's complete this table based off of the facts we have. So we have a theta angle of pi over six. So I should probably point this out that on a quadrant, we have one, two, three, four, and also we have X, well, excuse me, X and Y, of course, but let me go into detail on this. So plus, plus, minus, plus, minus, minus, plus, minus. Okay. So this is in quadrant one. It's cosine 30 degrees is equal to square root of three over two. And we get one half. Because at pi over six, it's like this. Okay, so then um, pi pi over six. What that is, is it's down here. It's a 45 degree, 45 degree angle um, downward. So it's going to be equal to, so it's quadrant three, cosines equal to 225 degrees. So this is a 45 degree angle though. So this is negative root two, negative root two, two. So we're gonna end up with negative root two, over two, and it's the exact same thing for sine. All right, so quadrant three, we've got, so we know it's in quadrant three. We've got cosines one half, so it's gonna be equal to negative one. So if this is two, that means this is negative root three. So this is going to be equal to, um, so that's 60 degrees, 60, okay, so that's 240. 60 on top of 180, which is five pi over three. All right, so um, this one, so they give us the quadrants here. So what I'll do for this next one, actually I'll leave that there. Let me just label these. Sorry for the disorganization, disorganized part of this part, but all right, so we know with four that these, this is going to be cosines, so that's the numerator's left, sines positive though, so that's gonna be in quadrant two. So we're gonna have, yeah, so So it's one half, so it's going to be it's going to be two. So what we'll have here is five pi over six. All right, and that's it. I hope this helped you out. Appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time.